find the plastic scan guide included in the box with your Drufamat scan machine. Turn on the Drufamat scan machine. A red scan laser will appear. Using the provided Essex plastic guide, find the appropriate barcode or just scan the barcode on the box of 3mm Drufosoft material. This will program the machine and the digital display will show the type of material, heating, and cooling time. Using the handle on the left, move the plate receptor from underneath the machine. Place the model on the base. Lift the tension ring off of the plate receptor and place the plastic sheet into the reception area. Secure the tension ring back in place and swing underneath the machine. Use the handle on the right to ensure the heating element is in place. Press the OK button. The heating lamp will then start to heat the material. The red LED lights will indicate that the heater is on. The screen will show the heating time starting to count down. The plastic will react to the heat and start to sag toward the model. Once the heating timer reaches zero and the machine makes a beep, it is time to bring the pressure cylinder down. Using the lever on the right, move the heating element out from underneath the machine by pulling the lever tightly forward and holding. Using your left hand, press and hold the white button on the left side of the machine. Hold this position until the pressure bar on the screen moves above two bars. Then release the white button and the handle. Be sure not to press the white button again. You may lose pressure and have to start over. The pressure bar will continue to rise to six bars. The cooling time will then start to count down. When the cooling timer reaches zero, the machine will make a beep. Open the valve on the base, as this will release any built-up air in the chamber. Press and hold the white button until the pressure bar is below 2. The machine will then release the remaining air and bring the cylinder up. Swing the plate receptor out from underneath the machine using the handle on the left. Lift the tension ring and remove both the model and the material. Once the first layer of the sport's mouthguard has been thermoformed, it is time to trim. Using the universal shears, trim away the flat excess plastic. Be sure to stay close to the base of the model when trimming. Using the precision electric heat knife, trim the labial side following the mucosal borders. The lingual side is trimmed near the gingival margin, about one millimeter away from the teeth. Place the tip of the hot knife into the plastic and move in one direction without moving the knife back and forth over the same area. Do not remove the model from the plastic. Full detailed instructions written by Dr. Ray Padilla can be found at www.essex.com. Peel away the excess plastic from the model. The outline of the sport's mouth guard will remain on the model. It is now ready for the second layer to be thermoformed over the first using the Drufamat scan pressure machine.